like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Makes a slide throw. Oh, he's got a man for all goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. Hey fellas, how's everyone doing? Welcome to a new episode from my FIFA 14 Tips and Tricks series. This time we will be talking about the skill dribbling. It's not as effective and overpowered as it was in the past years, but it's still a good weapon to use when you want to build up your attack. Before we get into this tutorial, if you want to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check FIFAultimateTeamCoins.com and use the code OV, that's OVVY, for a great 5% discount. The skill dribbling is relatively easy to make. All you need to do is press in the same time the left trigger and the right trigger on your Xbox controller while also using your left analog for direction. In case you are a PlayStation player, you need to use the L2 and R2 in combination with your left analog. This move is very productive when you want to change the direction and surprise your opponent. I like using it a lot when I want to keep possession of the ball and wait for my players to get in the right positions. A very important thing that you need to have in mind while performing this move is that it is not effective to exit the skill dribbling with a sprint. You will most likely lose possession because your player with will tap the ball too much in front of him and the defender will get it. So if you want to exit from this move, just stop pressing the left trigger and right trigger combo. Another type of move that you can make using the skill dribbling is the stop and turn. If you are older here on my channel, you might remember that I have created a tutorial about it and it was really easy to do. You just had to press the LB or L1 button on your controllers. If you press the skill dribbling combo and you do it without a direction from the left analog, it will do the stop and turn. As I am sure many of you know, this move is incredibly efficient, especially before doing a long over the head chip pass because it gives you time for your players to make the run. So fellas, now it's time to go into the practice arena and start trying this move a couple of times before you start doing it in the online matches. Remember, practice makes it perfect, so don't be disappointed if it won't work from the first try. It would be incredible if we could go as high as 130 likes for this video. Make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what would you like to see in my next um, videos. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ovi. See you later.